Hi, my name is Rodrigo Cruz, and this is the story of the Net Church. June 21st, 2015. That was the first Sunday of the Net, which that means that it was me, my wife, and my three kids in pajamas in our house. We had no money, we had no people, we had no building. We had a vision from God, and we have a Bible in our hands, and we have the support of the United Methodist Church. Next Sunday, we gathered a group of friends and those that we did not know. We met at Mountain Park Park, we grilled hot dogs and hamburgers, and we played cornhole, and we just had a birthday party for the church. As the team was growing, we spent the month of July visiting other churches that met in public spaces. During the month of August, as we continued to make a presence in the community, we started going to pray to all the places around us. We went and prayed in the fire department stations close to us. We went to pray in the football and baseball fields in the high school. We went to pray in the streets right across the street from where we were meeting. And we just started praying for God to send workers to His field. In the month of October, we have our first service. We call this our previous season. We show up to the high school at 7 o'clock in the morning, we unload the trailer and transform the high school into a worship space. We did that in October, we did that in November, and we did that twice in December. One of the beauties of the Net Church is that we are a missional church. We believe that God is calling us to be His hands and feet. And something that we've been doing from the beginning is we want to make a presence, we want to make an impact, we want to make an influence in our community. We met with the Lilburn Co-op and together we discovered there's a lot of teenagers in that community that parents have no resources to celebrate their birthday. So we decided to take that, that, that task upon us and partner with them and be able to put together over 100 boxes that includes a birthday present for each one of these kids. When I look at our Christmas Eve service in December 23rd, and I see a cafeteria full of people willing to take Christmas into a reality for those that perhaps have never heard the story of the birth of Jesus. That's when I got an assurance from God that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. The most rewarding thing for the past six months has really been able to see people from all kinds of backgrounds, politically, racially, generationally, religiously, believing in something bigger than themselves and giving up and buying into a vision that includes helping others to walk, work, and worship together as one. And as we look into the next six months ahead of us, we believe that the vision that God has placed in, in our hearts, in the denomination, in the leaders of the church, it's a vision that can make an impact and influence in the streets of Gwinnett County. We believe it's biblical, we believe it's right, and we believe it's a hope for the gospel in a place as diverse as we are. And 
with your help, we can continue casting the net. For more information about the net, feel free to visit us online, thenetchurch.com. You can follow us in any kind of social media. God bless you. Thank you.